Hello everybody and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. So this is a new file that I had recorded. Well, not new. Okay. So the last one was was one giant file. It was like four hours long. So the audio kind of was really quiet and stuff. In this one, it's the exact opposite. I had changed it up so that it's a little much louder. <laughs> um, and it's something that I can't really change in, as opposed to my voice again because of, I think, Twitch it was. The VOD anyway compressed my commentary and the uh, game audio into one audio file as it did in the previous one, but the problem with that one was that it was very quiet. And in this one, it starts out fairly loud. I do make some adjustments in game at the time. Again, this was recorded in January 2018, so nice. <laughs> a lot of the discussions you may overhear are probably maybe sound a little bit dated. It's been like a year and a half. <laughs> So anyway, it was really fun to go back and re and and like edit and stuff like that. Um, however, I do think the louder audio has been a lot easier to edit. <laughs> I haven't had to like magnify each like I instance of the NPC talking. Um, it's been a lot. It's been a lot easier. So hopefully you guys enjoy as well. Um, so for the next couple episodes, audio may be a bit louder, <laughs> um, which is which is kind of nice because then you can hear the music and the sound effects and stuff. I was kind of bummed about that in the previous one, so uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, I think prior to this one starting to this to this particular episode starting, it was a new session that I was streaming on Twitch. It was a brand new day, um, and at the beginning there will be a couple times where I, that I couldn't quite edit out where I'm like stating you know okay let me let me know how this is let me know how that is like trying to kind of figure out optimal sound um at the time so bear with that but it's we, we fix it pretty quick so um thank you all so much um for watching excuse me for watching these so far i really do appreciate it and i will be with you in a moment oh, I can level up level up Charisma, throw, oh god, only one point, okay. Skills. Can't upgrade my... What do you guys think? I kind of, I put it into repair. Should I put it into computer use too? Or awareness? I think maybe awareness or security. Uh, but I kind of want to keep, because I know, I know I have companions that specialize in like repair and computer use and stuff, but I won't always have those with you. Repair? Do you think all of it in repair? You need 17 repair? Oh my gosh. Like, it can get that high? What's the recommended? The recommended is computer use. Ooh, uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, Miss Ashley. Ooh, implant level three. Um. Um, where's my, like, uh, scripts? What? What? I didn't know you could change that. Did I know you could change that? I did not know you could change that. That is too much for me. It's too much. Where is, oh, well, I could, like, upgrade stuff. Sentient. I like that! Sentient! 
<laughs> it is important for the peace and harmony of all beings that many paths of the Jedi Order be understood. Only through knowledge can all the truth can all see the truth of the Force. Ooh, guard, Jedi Guardians train for battle and physical prowess. In contrast, Jedi Consulars seek to master the awesome power of the Force. Jedi Sentinels seek to find a balance between these two extremes. Ooh, this is cool. The the cat girl. I want to. I want to. Re I want to recruit a cat girl. Like what? Jedi Guardians battle against the forces of evil in the dark side. They focus on combat training and masterful use of the lightsaber. Basic class attributes: ten vitality, four force points, slow progression, skill progression, and fast feet progression. Oh, okay. The Jedi Guardians gain force jump feet automatically. This feat allows them to instantly close the distance and attack an opponent within ten meters. Jedi Consulars seek to bring balance to the universe. They focus less on physical combat and more on mental disciplines in order to augment their mastery of the Force. Basic class attributes, 6 vitality, level 8 force points, slow skill progression, and slow feat progression. Hmm, okay. They gain force focus automatically. makes it harder for opponents to resist their force powers. Set Jedi Sentinels fare out to seat in injustice, bringing them to light. They strike a balance between the physical and mental disciplines of the Jedi Order. They get 8 vitality, um, level 6 force points, average skill progression, slow feet progression. Show me a statistical comparison of all three classes. Okay. Both with force healing? That's a good, uh, that's a good plan. Well, it seems like the Sentinel is the better option. Except for the whole, um, uh, average skill progression, slow feet progression. But a, a Sentinel could be, or a Consul, Consular could be cool too. strong points anyway. Improved scoundrel's luck. Where's the feats page? Oh, I need to, oh, I need to level her up again. That, that looks good to me. Sneak attack. Feats are also force powers. Oh. What? 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 Okay, wait, wait, wait. What am I doing? Bachelor's told you to see signs of the force. Yep. If you have questions, you should direct them toward the Jedi Council members. Oh, okay. Greetings, young apprentice. Have you come seeking knowledge of the past? Those who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it. Or so they say. As a chronicler of the Academy here on Dantui, hey, I feel it is my duty to share the history of our order with the newly initiated. Unfortunately, our recent history is, is one of tragedy though, and, and bloodshed. So the Mandalorian Wars, the fall of Revan and Malak, the rise of the Sith. There are important lessons to be learned from these events, if we do not wish to repeat the mistakes of want our past. To listen to the, there's a Revan audiobook, and I want to listen to it, but I'm not sure if I should. Is that, does that have, spo I think it probably has spoilers in it, doesn't it? The Revan audiobook? Um, where are these? This facility is a training academy. 
The archives here okay. are restricted <laughs> to those who have attained the rank of master. We must protect over-eager Padawans from being exposed to dangerous knowledge. The pursuit of knowledge is a noble goal, but there are some things that require the wisdom of a master to truly understand. Sometimes if you are seeking information on Revan, Malak, and the Sith, I will gladly recount the recent history of our order to you. Of course, I could not tell you the entire history of our order. The Jedi have existed for oh, thousands so upon thousands of years. We are as old as the Republic itself. Instead, I will begin 40 years ago with the War of Only Exar Kun. Like Malak and Revan, Exar Kun was a Jedi who fell to the dark side and led an army against the Jedi and the Republic. Exar Kun was defeated, but the war left both the Republic and our own order severely weakened. For 20 years, we struggled to rebuild, trying to erase the scars of the terrible conflict. What about the Mandalorian Wars? 20 years ago, the Mandalorians, aware that the Republic was in a weakened state, began conquering small worlds on the Outer Rim. They were careful to choose only planets outside the Republic's jurisdiction. After much debate, the Senate chose not to intervene. As long as the Mandalorians avoided planets that were members of the Republic itself, there would be no retaliation. Um, sounds like a big mistake. Well, you can hardly blame the Republic. The memory of war was fresh in everyone's true, mind. Years Nobody was eager to relive the quick. horrors in a campaign against the Mandalorians. But in the end, it was unavoidable. The Mandalorians stockpiled resources from their conquered worlds, preparing for massive assault. Seven years ago, they launched a simultaneous attack in three separate sectors of Republic space. The Senate had no choice but to retaliate with the entire Republic fleet. The Mandalorian Wars had begun. I'll fix it. I can just turn it way down and then turn my own personal volume way up. I don't think the... Oh, okay, I just checked my TV volume. In? The Republic petitioned the Jedi Council for aid, but there were many factors to consider before we allowed ourselves to be drawn into another conflict so soon after the war with Exar Kun. While the Jedi Council preached patience, there were many among our order who were eager for us to join the battle. Two young knights in particular demanded immediate action, Revan and Malak. They rallied many of the Jedi to their cause and against the wishes of their masters, joined the Republic fleet battling the Mandalorians. Revan was a brilliant military leader, and the Republic fleet began to win victory after victory. Four years ago, the Mandalorians surrendered unconditionally. Revan and Malak were heroes, the great saviors of the Republic. A third of the Republic fleet was under their direct command. And then something happened. Instead of returning after the war's end, the ships under Revan's command went deep into unexplored space. They claimed to be searching for the last remnants of the Mandalorian fleet. All contact was lost. For many months, it was assumed some great disaster had befallen the entire fleet. Everyone thought they were dead. There were unsubstantiated rumors of Revan and Malak being seen on a number of different planets during these months. Scattered sightings that were never confirmed. Where did they disappear to? Perhaps they simply went far beyond the edges of Republic space. Maybe they found previously undiscovered hyperspace routes to the ends of the galaxy. Nobody knows for certain. Three years ago, Revan and Malak returned at the head of a massive invasion fleet. Revan had assumed the title of Sith Lord. The hero had become a conqueror. Jeez. Um, how did he get so many followers? Initially, the bulk of the Sith Force were former Republic soldiers who had served under Revan. With each conquest, thousands more flocked to join the invaders, swelling their numbers. Even many of our own order have betrayed us, lured by Sith promises of riches and power. But what is more disturbing is the size of the Sith fleet itself. Some of the ships in the Sith fleet are those that were under Revan's command during the Mandalorian Wars. But many more are of an oh. alien design we've never seen before. 
That's the cool. source of this massive fleet is one of the many things about the Sith we cannot explain. It seems impossible to have created it in such a short time, yet we cannot deny its existence. Okay, that's cool. So, like, and we've seen, like, glimpses that they, like, went into, like, a, a room or something of power that, like, I don't know. But you think if it was Sith, Sith design stuff, the Jedi would probably know. A little Yoda look-alike. Looks like a kid waiting for someone up across the road. Oh my gosh. He does. He kind of does. Man, I really hope that at some point Disney decides to bring back these games as canon. I think one of my friends operates on the, uh, the basically the assumption that everything... Because Disney said, you know, this is all... Like, lots of it's like Legends stuff, right? Like the Legends canon. But that he operates basically on that... Everything is true in canon unless stated explicitly otherwise by Disney. And I think that that's kind of the way that it's supposed to be taken. Like, I think that unless Disney specifically says, no, this is not canon, then you can kind of assume that it's going to be standard, you know? Uh, it's going to be kind of what they're working off of. But they want to be careful what they let into the actual canon because they don't want to, like, screw up their future plans, but... Um, did Disney... Was Disney involved with Battlefront 2? I assume they were, but... Um, like, did they give the go-ahead or whatever for that? Because then technically it would be in canon. Um, so what happened next? For two years, the Sith were all but invincible. Fortunately, Bastila and her battle meditation allowed the Republic to win a few key victories and kept the Sith from total triumph. In desperation, we set a trap for the Dark Lord. Bastila was with the strike team that tried to capture Revan, as you probably know. She was there at Revan's end. That was nearly a year ago, but things have not improved. Malak has stepped in and assumed the mantle of Dark Lord for himself though he's far from Revan's equal in strategy or tactics. Still, his fleet continues to grow in both ships and soldiers. If we do not find some way to stop the Sith soon, Malak will overwhelm us with sheer numbers. Oh my gosh, don't Smith. I know, I wonder why they didn't... Maybe they just didn't want it to be a total Yoda thing, but then it kind of makes Yoda seem like he was a bit off his rocker. <laughs> and maybe he was. Darth Bane, the Sith, who stated the rule of two and the ancestor of the Emperor and Vader, was inspired by Revan's teachings. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't know a lot about the timeline. Obviously, but I keep... I, I, I know that this game is like 2,000 years ago. Or was it 4,000? This is a very long time ago. What can I learn from Revan's history? Revan's tale shows us how even the greatest of Jedi can fall to the dark side. You must always be on guard against the evil that dwells within you. Think hard upon this lesson. I will think on this. May the Force be with you. Okay, I could probably talk to everybody else. Should I? I don't know. I don't. I, I kind of just want to go do things. Look, I don't have weapons in my hand. Oh my gosh, do I have a lightsaber? 4,000, the MMO is about 3,700, Darth Bane is 1,000. Okay. Do I need to talk to you? Greetings, my young pupil. What? Your progress has been Crap, most remarkable on. so far. Are you here to continue your training in the ways of the Jedi? I forgot, I had to fix the volume. Squeak for you, I don't know, my voice is sore. <laughs> Squeaking may not happen. But hi, Alderaan. Um, not right now. You have learned much, yet there is much more for you to still understand. The way of the Jedi must be entered into with a clear and focused mind. When you feel that you are ready to continue your training. Okay. I'm not sure what movie volume is. I feel like it's like the overall volume. I could be wrong. Questions? Few mention those names around here anymore, but I suppose it is just as dangerous to deny they were ever part of the Order. 
When I was still on Coruscant, Revan and Malak often came to me oh, for wait, a dish, but I perceive that you okay. have learned when you feel Okay. Can I go out now? Can I go outside? I wanna go outside. Do you have a cold too? <laughs> Rain! <laughs> I feel very overbearing. Uh Oh, I have I have stuff to learn here. Okay, okay. So we have to do the learning. We have to do the. I wasn't sure if I needed to get to the action or not faster. Especially on live streams, I'm always worried I need to like be more entertaining. Can I? Look? Good evening, apprentice. Ah, wow. I trust your training goes well. What? Well, are you serious? Wow. <laughs> They were able to get the angles right for this game, but they weren't able to get the angles right in Dragon Age Inquisition. <laughs> wow, my training is progressing quite well. I have faith that you will achieve the rank of Padawan soon. Master Jar is most impressed with your progress. May the Force be with you, Apprentice. Is he blind? Good evening, Apprentice. I see some a Jedi questions. must ever be seeking knowledge. What is it you wish to know? What can you tell me about Bastila while she's right behind me? Bastila will be a great Jedi someday. Even among the masters in the council, it is rare to find one so skilled in the art of battle meditation. Bastila was there when Revan was slain. Did you know that? Uh, yeah, Karth mentioned it. I also don't think she, uh, she was, mm, I don't know. I mean, she was there, but it looked like, I remember from the dream briefly, it, like, that forward part of the ship blew up where Revan was at. And she didn't, like, kill him, but she was, like, uh, there. Karth mentioned something about it. Bastila herself does not like to talk about it. She was accompanying the strike team that confronted Revan when the Dark Lord was destroyed. Her role in the death of such a promising young Jedi as Revan upset her greatly. But Bastila knew she had to set her personal feelings aside for the sake of the galaxy and the Republic. The Force is strong with her now. And without her skill in battle meditation, we would have lost this war long ago. That's what I thought. Malak opened fire on Revan's Bastila. ship. And for you. But you must draw strength from each other. May the Force be with you. Is there anything else you would like to know? Master Rook? Is he the other guy on the other side? Master Rook may seem harsh and critical, but he understands the dangers that lie in your path. He wants you and Bastila to be fully prepared when you finally face Lord Malak. The way ahead will be difficult for young Bastila. Is there anything else? Anything else you can tell me about Revan and Malak? I knew Revan as a promising young pupil. Revan was strong in the Force, but also headstrong and proud. Such traits are not unusual in a Padawan. Perhaps that was why I did not see the true extent of the danger. Many of the young Jedi admired Revan, a of including Malak. When Revan set off to challenge the Mandalorians, Malak was the first to join the cause. And when Revan fell to the dark side, it was inevitable Malak would fall as well. I thought um, Malak was Revan's pupil. Is that not the case? Were they just, were they were they just comrades? So Revan was stronger than Malak, or are you saying? I mean, no one's responsible for anybody's fall. You have to make the decision. I don't know what the Yoda species is called. Oh, but okay. What's the Yoda species person called? I can't remember his name, but I'll see it in a second. He was her Padawan? Wait, uh, he was who? He was... He was... Who's Padawan? Revan was Bastula's Padawan? Oh, okay, Grammy's spoiling things! Oh, man! Oh, man! Uh, so Revan was stronger than Malak. Revan was always the leader, the more powerful of the pair. When Revan fell, we had hoped the Sith threat was ended. But Malak quickly assumed Revan's role, 
and has embraced the dark side power as fully as his old master ever did. Now, Malak leads the Sith yeah, Armada against master, the Republic. Yeah, it's master, so Revan was Malak's Hate master. And vengeance for his master's death draw Malak ever further down the path of the dark side, fueling his powers until they surpass those of his old master. Only you and Bastila together can stop Malak now. The way ahead will be difficult for young Bast. Is there anything else? Very well. May the Force be with you. Do you play as Revan? Oh, this is Vandar Tokare, maybe is what it is. That's okay, Grammy. It's totally fine. Um, it just looks like they keep indicating that Malak is Revan's apprentice type. Maybe just in the Sith powers, maybe? I don't know. Seems a little bit, uh, skewed up. Ugh. This is Rook. I see you insist on wandering the halls of our enclave. I am when studying. When you should be busy studying your lessons. I'd like to ask some questions. I suppose such desires are inevitable. Though I fear you may seek knowledge for which you are not prepared. Yet I will do my best to guide your quest. Oh, they fought and the victor became the master. Okay. Okay. So they fought and found out who was stronger, and then the stronger one became the leader, basically. Okay. But I didn't... I thought Bastila was kind of a Padawan, but she's actually... I mean, I guess not. She's a knight, but she's a young knight. Um... You often seem angry with me, Master Rook. Have I displeased you? No, I'll ask. What can you tell me about Bastila? Bastila, the young Jedi holds great promise and great danger. She oh, can okay, do have much fun. Have a nice lunch, Ashley. I hope council. you can hear me over the NPCs. Without her skill in battle meditation, the Sith Armada would have conquered the galaxy long ago. But despite her command of the Force, Bastila is still young. She is a Jedi, but she has not attained the rank of Master. The Council would do well to remember this before we lay the fate of the galaxy on her slender shoulders. You would do well to focus more closely on your lessons. The Force is strong with you, but you need training and guidance in the ways of the Jedi, lest you suffer a fate similar to that of Revan. Okay. Uh, that rule started, so the rule about Sith killing their master... Uh, started 3,000 years with Darth Bane. At 3,000 years after this game. Really? No, Master Rook is this guy. Um, this guy is Vandar. The Yoda character is Vandar. Rook is the human guy. I see you insist. I saw. Tell me about Revan and Malik. Revan was once a promising Padawan. But ever eager to learn more about the Force, Revan sought knowledge of ancient Sith magics, foolishly Magic. ignoring the dangerous what? lure of the dark side. When the Mandalorian invasion came, Revan seized the opportunity it presented. Many Jedi flocked to the Outer Rim to follow the charismatic young knight, and many fell under the sway oh. of the dark side. So was he turned? So he was investigating Sith stuff, but wasn't quite turned. But when he was investigating, during, after the war was done, and he went to the Outer Rim on the pretense of chasing the Mandalorians down, but was actually going to check out some Sith stuff. And then, dun dun dun! I do not believe Revan and Malak yeah, were yeah, on exactly. the Outer Rim. They had begun their journey down the Dark Path long before the Mandalorian threat appeared. Here on Dantooine, they discovered a sinister cave, a place where the strength of the dark side overwhelms oh, wait, that is on the light. Never mind. Perhaps this discovery was what first corrupted oh, never. them. Oh, okay then. Or perhaps they sought the cave out because they were already corrupted. Whatever the explanation, the Order was unable to turn them back to the light. Had the Council taken more decisive action in this matter, perhaps Revan and Malak could have been stopped. But in this we failed. You would do well to focus more closely on your lessons. The okay. So they so they found the artifact here on Datuing, and then they went, Hey, DK Domination! Play Stardew Valley! That's adorable. Go back to the purple Jedi. 
the 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 alien one? He's kind of red. Greetings, my young pupil. Uh, questions? Do I want to ask more questions or ready to continue my training? I think I probably should continue my training, right? I've already asked these questions, so I'll do that. Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan. Yay, but I need the a master The lowest rank then. of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first, you must prove yourself worthy. In the traditions and customs of our Order, as handed down from master to pupil for a thousand generations, you must successfully complete three tests before you earn your place among the Jedi. The sex slave, I know, they are always the sex slave race. Even the men, it's more often the women, but the, the men are too. Um, do I want to progress or do I kind of want to wander around? Is there a lot of wandering around that I can do outside? What kind of tests are these? These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mental and physical. Upon completing these tests, you will pass from apprentice to Padawan and join in the ranks of the Jedi. First, I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. These tenets must always guide your actions. In everything you do, you must always be conscious of their wisdom. You must prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the Code. Return when you feel you are ready oh, okay. for this challenge. The test has you wander around. Alright. I probably have to go back and like... <laughs> ask a bunch of stuff. Did I just accept to do the quest? Is that what I'm doing? After mentioned for attack me to learn the precepts of the Jedi Code. Oh my gosh, do I have to redo all that talking I just did? The gray Jedi path. Please don't disturb me. Uh, okay. I have pressing matters at hand. I can see that. Uh, do I have to talk to them again, or do I talk to you? Do I talk to her, maybe? Greetings, apprentice. Though I understand you shall not have that lowly title much longer. Yeah, Master no Jar falling tells in love. me that your progress has been remarkable. Soon he feels you will attain the rank of Padawan. Then you will truly be a full-fledged Jedi. How are you enjoying your training? I'm still learning that a Jedi code. All Jedi must know the code. Its tenets Aha! are the fundamental teachings of our order. There is no emotion. There is no, peace. there is no ignorance. There is knowledge. There is no passion. There is serenity. There is no chaos. There is harmony. There is no death. There is the Force. Think and meditate on these truths, Apprentice, if you ever wish to become a Padawan. I did it! Journal entry. Okay, they added it to it. Alright, then. Okay, then. Yeah, no falling in love. No, none of that. No making babies. Greetings, my young people. Soon you're up in the traditions and customs of our order. Ready for the tests. Oh, and that's the, uh, I saw that the other day, actually, on Twitter. Somebody posted, like, a really 
pretty calligraphy of the uh, of the Sith um, tenants. These tests will see if you have truly. First, I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. These tenets must always guide your actions. In everything you do, you must always be conscious of their wisdom. You must now prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the Code by completing these fundamental precepts of our Order. There is no emotion. There is... Peace? There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. There is no passion. There's serenity. There is no chaos. There is harmony. There is no death. There is the force. You have learned your studies yes. well, apprentice. It will not be long before you are a full member. And then member a Jedi will kill order. me. <laughs> but first, you must pass the second test and learn yes! about the most prized yes! possession of a Jedi, the very symbol of our order, the lightsaber. The lightsaber is the traditional weapon of our order. It is a symbol of a Jedi's skill, I get to make dedication, it, right? and authority. And each lightsaber is as individual as the Jedi who wields it. <laughs> the blade is made of pure Larry, energy, oh focused by polished crystals in the hilt. Kaiba. As the second test, each Jedi must construct her lightsaber with her own hands. And now it is your time. Speak with Master Dorak, and he will guide you through the choosing of a crystal. Cool. I know, right? <laughs> So they don't catch rain passing me notes under the table. Uh, hey, at least I went and I actually did. Uh, I talked to somebody who told me the code. All right, it's time for me to call it there. But thank you guys so much for watching. We're well on our way. Well, not well on our way. We're step one on the way to becoming a true Jedi apprentice. We're not even going to be a paddle. Or no. Oh, we're going to be a paddle. On. We're an apprentice right now. Nice. Anyway, thank you all so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next one.